Hey folks, it's me again, Q Mimi here, making another video. I thought I'd do a review on a game show because, well, why not? And, well, I thought I'd do this review before Game Show Garbage, if any of you have ever checked out that, that person's channel, which I totally recommend. They do a review on certain game shows on... They do inductions on shows which are basically bad. Um, the Games of the 90s, which is another segment which uh, focuses on 90s game shows. As well as Games of Canada, where there are Canadian game shows, and several other stuff. And uh, I think, uh, if you're watching this, Cindy, you should do a review on this show. It's called Child Support. If I were to rate this show on a scale 1 to 10, actually I'll save that towards the end. Let me explain how the gameplay works. You got one contestant given a question, and it's their job to um, answer a question correctly. The money ladder starts from $1,000 all the way up to $2,000, then $5,000, all the way up to two hundred grand. That's uh, a little low for a game show, in my opinion. If I were to create the money ladder, in fact, here's a photo of how I would... In fact, I might as well show you a diagram of... Well, I'd show you on screen what the money ladder looks like on uh, how their show would be. Here's an idea to give you what their money ladder looks like. Now, here's how I would have done the money ladder if I was in charge of the show. Here's what my money ladder looked like if I was in charge of this show. I think it should have been played for bigger money. Anyway, $200,000 is, well, kind of low. If it was for a half a million dollars, then that would be a problem, but... Oh well, what can you expect? Anyway... The gameplay works like this. You're presented with a question, and then you have to answer the question correctly. If you get it right, you go up the money ladder. And then they show these uh, kids with um, some guy who basically asks them the same question, and if they know the answer, well, if you get the question right, it wouldn't matter if they got it right or not. It goes to show what would have happened had you gotten the question wrong. If you got the question wrong, either they can save you, or you're out instantly and you walk away with nothing. The show is presented by uh, Fred Savage, who um, is related to Ben Savage from Boy Meets World, for anyone who's wondering. And uh, there's also uh, Ricky Ger Gervais, who basically um, asks the questions to the kids. There are five kids, and they are presented with a question, and if any of them get it right, if the contestant gets a question wrong, they can save the contestant. Also, if they get a question wrong, I'm not sure if any of you remember a game show called Set for Life, or the British version known as For the Rest of Your Life. It's like pulling a red glow stick. Basically, you can say goodbye to that portion of the money. Let's say if you're playing for $200,000, you get a question wrong, say goodbye to $200,000, now you're playing for $150,000. It's also similar to Millionaire Hot Seat, where um, one of the six contestants gets a question wrong, and then the top value goes down, if that makes any sense to anyone. Also, after the fourth question, um, you have, and the eighth question, you have the option to walk away with the cash you have so far, or give it back and answer a few more questions. Remember, if you keep going on and you get a question wrong and the kids don't save you, say bye-bye to your money, you go home with nothing. Yep. That's basically how the show works. And um, if you go all the way without making any mistakes, you can walk away with 200 grand. Also, actually that was only in season one. In season two, if you get, a, if you get it wrong and the kids don't save you, you are given a consolation prize of $500. Which, um, at least that's something. Anyway, my final thoughts on this show, that being a child support. Well, all I can say is, um, it's mediocre. It's not the best, but it's certainly better than uh, other horrible game shows like um, The Million Second Quiz presented by Ryan Seacrest. Um, Who's Still Standing, which I wanted to like that show, but it had some flaws. I'll make another video on... Uh, what could improve who's still standing, so stay tuned for that. As well as uh, another, let's see, what other show was bad? Um, I, 
Oh, Candy Crush was another bad show. Total Knockout is a major improvement over that. Well, that's my uh, conclusion review on child support, so... Game Show Garbage, please do an induction on this show. But if I were to say, if you want to watch a show that involves uh, kids helping out adults, my advice for you is watch Are You Smarter Than a Fifth Grader? Because at least Jeff Foxworthy makes that show worth watching. This show, um... It's your choice. If you want to check out the show, be my guest. It's not the best, but there's shows worse than this. Anyway, thanks for watching.